Welcome back everyone to episode 39 of Rios del Cielo. Today I want to work on the mansions slash estates area up here of uh, Rio Vista. And it's, uh, it's going to be very sparsely populated because their estates, mansions and what have you. And speaking of which, I have to go through my collection of mansions here. Some of them are the size I like, but I think we have a bunch that are uh, sort of smallish, but we'll use them to I think uh, I'll just put down all of the ones down here by the road. Some of them require roads, some of them don't. If I get all the ones I want to use popped out here, I'll use the Move It mod to place them where I want them on the hill side there. Basically, most of them are going to be about halfway up that hillside away from the uh, roadway with long driveways attaching them to the roadway. We have a pretty good number to choose from. I like the big ones. Not much we can do with the smaller ones. They'll have their own estates as well. It's a real old school mansion there. Ah, oh, the mayor's house. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe the, uh, the mayor's mansion will go on the very top of the hill. A position of honor. And basically all I gotta do here is grab them, space them apart so that each estate has a an expansive lot. On the side of the hills here. Yeah, that guy's going up on top somewhere. I'll finalize the placement on that later. I think the way I'm doing it will work out nicely here. Putting them in, in, in place first. And I can go through and sculpt the rest of the hillside so that they um, blend in better. It's a matter of giving um, each mansion its own uh, fairly level plot of land. They're all on slightly different levels there. Then I can go through and uh, use the sloping land tool there to add some extra slope rather than the steepness. It helps blend that stuff out a little bit. Once I've gone all through it this way, then I can go over it with the smoothing tool. And it all should all come about pretty well. These uh, mansions down here on the bottom of this hill are going to be fairly close to the road. Which means their uh, driveways are going to be fairly long and steep. Okay, 
we can go over it and everything blends in much nicer. Mayor's house has got the best view of tippy top of the hill. Now I gotta connect all these mansions to that road at the bottom. I think I'll use I want something more driveway like and I think most of these sort of mansions uh, I don't like that one I don't think I think I'll use the uh, It's got sidewalks. I don't want to use that. We don't need sidewalks. We might use a gravel thing here, but not for these fancy places. I think that one there, the pavement road. It's very plain looking. And I think that's uh, what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's get it straightened out here. I, I think most of these mansions would have a, a big uh, sort of oval shaped uh, circle around the entrance. Cars go in and, and out. Let's see if I can run a pathway up, up to the front door there. I don't know which one would look nice up here. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. A little tweaking on it here. Want it centered. Pretty good. Uh, overall view up here. Let's put in our our oval. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing for all of these. I may change the size and shape of the oval. But basically they're going to uh, all be very similar. Ow! For, for forgetting how to use the curvy road tool. Click. Click. Drag. Click. Nope. You have to bend it before you click. 
end and then click. I think some of these uh, ovals later on when I get to the point of uh, really detailing, uh, we could have fountains in the middle or little uh, little park-like things with the benches and plants. Now we gotta get down the hill, which means snaking it so it's not too steep. that one joins up there. I think I can replace that bottom one with a regular looking road. It'll intersect a little bit better, I think. That'll be fine. First we have an intersection there, but I'm gonna have to take care of that. The usual, turn off the crosswalks, make sure the cars go through, set the yield, all that stuff. get that set up with the uh, smooth slope tool, sloping tool. First things first, stuff needs to be set to the same height. There we go. Once we got the height set there. Smooth slope. From there, they are. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, we need to know the node tool to Some of these don't slope automatically. We had too many nodes in there, but I got rid of the wrong one. Oh, bother. Throw me a frickin' bone here. section back in there. Thank you. Will you let me move on now? Did you? through and redo that, get the nodes sloped. I've got to do this for all the rest of the mansions. That'll take some time, so I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. In the back, you can see there's quite a lot. Snaky, snaky ovals. 
Um, I think I want to put a park at the very top of this hill to uh, use up the rest of that space up there. Use a, sort of a hiking trail nature park thing. So in order to do that, and also to give access to uh, the mayor's house there, gotta run a roadway up here. Follow the contours. them too close to the mansions down there. Yeah, that's fine. No, I think that road will end in the driveway to the mayor's house. Later on when I'm detailing, I could put a gate there at the end. be just like the other ones, sort of uh, coming out straight at the oval, center of the oval. All in all, the ovals could be just filled up with trees. It would help with the isolation of the uh, Mansions there. There's going to be lots of trees around here. Alright, uh, so we're going to go from up there to there. It's going to really dent the hillside. It's alright. Having a smooth road is more important. We can uh, do things to the hillside here. Make it look good. And all smoothed out. Be careful there. Move too close to the mansions. Yeah, we can go over this cliff several times just to give us a, a gentler slope. gentler there. Okay, now I need a road to take us to the park entrance, which will be at the peak there. Your reserve is what I'm looking for. Something very natural. Uh, that's got to have a road, so I'll just plop it down here and move it around later. It's always good to do that, and you get a, a good idea of the size of it. What sort of roadway you're going to need to be able to stick it in there. So I need a little uh, sort of T-junction at the top here. Short T-junction. Did it? Level everything out to that intersection there. This guy placed where I want him. Yeah. That'll 
do fine. See, they're all at different heights, but I can fix that later. With the moving mod. I'm gonna put uh, some parking down. I'll use my little 2x4, favorite 2x4s. Two on each side. Yeah, I think that will look great. We've got enough room coming off the back there to build our pathways. It's nice. Take all of that and level it off to that. Voila. I spoke French. She's level. fine-tune the placement on these. I want them both to be at about the same distance from the entryway there. Yep, looks fine. Expand the park area there. up the top of the hill here, except for the mayor's house. Yeah, we can take the hillside in, down to the road. reserve with decorations so it lights up a little path at night all right let's just use the snaky tool and snake some paths around here more or less following the contours Repeat. You can get fairly close to that uh, cliff side there. Maximize our room. Yeah. bad at all. It's all relatively level up there, no huge steep climbs for anybody. I think that'll work fine. Now we gotta put down all the accoutrement. Various campsites, campfires, and all that stuff. Use as many of the items as we can. I don't think I'll use the tents. We want a couple of those viewpoints. Find some place that's got a good view. Yeah. That's a good one. We've got room for another one. This one's closer to viewing the city. Off in the distance. Some 
more campsites. Observation tower. To get all these guys level. Then give it another pass with the uh, smoothing tool. Some of these uh, hunting cabins, nice up here. That guy's gotta go down. Another hunting cabin. What else we got here? Ooh, that's a big guy. Museum. I think it'll work there. Put a cross path there. Oh yeah, that looks great, didn't it? I even like that little raised bridge there that it's on. Like that. Don't want to smooth that part out. Okay, I gotta find my. I don't remember if there are beaches, birches that I was using down here. Yep, those are the guys. I wanna use the same trees throughout there. areas there borders I have a separate one from the uh, country club here area hesitate to call it residential because a lot of land there is probably not more than 100 people there we'll put it all the way out to the highway there room for expansion might be able to put uh, some ritzy shopping center down there or something Okay, I forgot to name this. I was just looking for something that had the little uh, accent mark over the eye. Don't have one, so I'll just call it Rio Vista Country Club without the accent over the eye. Capital C. Country Club. Club, club. Great. And the area that it's in here will be Rio Vista Country Club. Great. Uh, this area is Rio Vista. Riverview. It's a fancy name. The uh, 
park up there. Let's see, what are those? Don't think of hiking? No. Like nature trail. Would be better than hiking, yeah. named which is important now we're going to add services and I want to uh, tie them to these areas these two areas can be serviced by the same ones the uh, country club and the uh, estates and everything should be down here Towards the highway, that uh, recycling center there is far enough away from everything. The hospital by the uh, entrance of the two loop roads there work fine. Uh, fire. This is a pretty large area to cover, and there's a river right there, so I think I'll put a helicopter fire depot there. There's lots of trees that are there, and uh, you really do need helicopters to put those fires out. I think uh, the helicopter depot will do the trick there. Put in a couple of... Uh, Observation towers for the fire department. They can call in. They see a fire burning. Mm, I don't like that. Sticking out of the river. But uh, tweak these guys a little bit. Gotta love the moving mod. Let you get everything just where you want it. Move that closer in there. Drop it down a little bit. correct yep just like so all right let's see we, police station would have a police station like a medium-sized one not the tiny one. We are covering a fairly large area. Alright, I think that'll work. Now let's tree this puppy up. You're not fully dressed. So you got the trees in there. Coverage on that is fine. We got some trees growing on the cliffside. 
which is strictly unrealistic, but you can see there are not too many, just a few poking out there. I think that looks good rather than ha having them totally bare. Yeah. It's a fancy place. Mayor's house. Beautiful view of the city there. Let's go through and set these up. Within district only. And we need to add the other district. Automatically got Rio Vista. Let's add Country Club to that. And same thing for the police. And the country club. And since these two are on the country club side of the road, we will add a Rio Vista to that. a little bit different, but forest fire, same thing. We'll tie it to this district so the coppers don't go off into the distance when we need them here. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think we've done it for the day. Anyway, as always, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again tomorrow.